So the most valuable uh, skill in mathematics is probably a lack of trust. Um, because you should always be asking yourself, why, why, why? Well, not yourself, even your teachers. Why, why, why? So I've just shown you that um, if we have something like uh, we had 1, uh, 3, nine, no, 1, 4, nine. 1, 4, 9, 16, etc. We find the first difference. I'm just going to do that quickly to rejog your memory. And the second difference we find to be constant. Okay, and then I said, okay, so 2a is equal to that. And then immediately you should go, why? Why is 2a equal to that? And then I go, well, 3a plus b is equal to that. And you should say, stop it. Tell me why. And when I say A plus B plus C, you should turn around and walk away because I'm not answering your questions. Okay, so why is it true? Where, did, where does all this come from? Well, let's look at it like this. So imagine we've got term 1, term 2, term 3, and term 4. Then this is term 2 minus term 1. This is term 3 minus term Two and that one is term four minus term three. Okay. Now before we go on to the last one, the last one would now be this. Okay. In other words, term three minus term two minus. Okay. And then term two is uh, minus that is plus term two. No, it's not plus term two. It's minus term two minus term 2 plus term 1 okay but this is going to just confuse us so let's let's just first do the top part and uh, get an easier formula so remember that t n is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c okay so let's use that and then substitute it in here so when when I have n is equal to 1 then we've got term 1 is equal to a 1 times 1 is just 1 so a plus b n is just b times 1 is b plus c so we can see aha uh -huh, this is true my first term up here is equal to a plus b plus c how about term 2 well term 2 is equal to a and now n is 2 so 2 squared is 4 so I got 4 4 a 4 a plus n is 2 so I've got 2 B's plus 2 B's plus just C okay so what's going to happen if I take term 2 and I subtract term 1 from it well then I'm going to get this minus that so I have 4 a's but I'm going to subtract 1 a so I have that term 2 minus term 1 will equal 3a. I've got 2 b's minus 1 b, so now I just have 1 b left. And I had 1 c, I'm subtracting 1 c, so I've got no c's left. So that this first, first difference, 3a plus b. Okay, let's find term, this term. Okay. In other words, term two, 3 minus term 2. We first need to find term 3. Term 3 is uh, n squared. Now it's 3 squared is 9. 9 a's plus 3 b's plus c. So now if I were to take for this one, okay, I take term 2, term 3 minus term 2, I will get, okay, I had. 4 a's minus 9 a's which will leave me with 5 a's. I had 2 b's minus 3 b's so I have plus 1 b left. No sorry 3 b's minus 2 b's that gives me 1 b left and uh, c minus c will just be 0 so this is that term. Okay so that second difference. See this one was 3 a plus b. That one is 5a plus b. This one's obvi obviously going to be 7a plus b. Okay, and so forth and so forth. So that when I subtract these two, 
In other words, when I take this term and that term, if I take this minus that to give my constant second difference, let's just see what's going to happen. What's going to happen if I take, uh, let's now go to another color. Okay. If I take this and from this I subtract that. Okay. Do you notice I'm going to going to get rid of that b and exactly 5a minus 3a is 2a and b minus b is just 0 so plus 0 I'm don't, not going to write it but that's what I get when I subtract those two and that's why this last one for which I don't have space I apologize will be 2a because that's what I've got left there okay but let me briefly show you an even easier way of doing it Okay. easier formula so we found that my first term is a plus b plus c and my first difference is that so this was t for t1 and 3a plus b is equal to term 2 minus term 1 okay and 2a was equal to my constant uh, my constant second difference okay now this is a little bit of a cheat because let's go one step backwards okay so we've been working with term one and because we're working with terms it's no not possible to have a zero term is there okay but we can have a zero term theoretically so what would the zero term be well the zero term would be when n is zero so it's a times zero squared plus b times zero plus c and therefore just c so if i go back one term backwards that term will just be equal to c okay and what will happen if I now go one backwards from here? So instead of taking term 2 minus term 1, I'm going to take term 1 minus term 0, which means this is term 1, a plus b plus c, minus term 0, which is just c. So I'm going to get rid of the c. So that will just be a plus b. And what about the last one? Well, it's a constant difference. It will still be equal to 2a. 2a will still be equal to the constant difference because it's exactly that constant. Okay, I'll use this cheat in the next video. Don't tell anyone.